following is a replacement video for the encoder strip on a Pro Series printer. There's two sides of the strip. There's one that has a clear part to it, and the other one is all filled in. All filled in part is connected to spring, located on the right hand side. Left hand side is connected to a clip on the printer frame. <coughs> so, uh, you've already gone ahead, powered down the printer, unlocked the capping station from the printer head. Or sorry, the printer head from the capping station, move the printer head to the center right now. And on the right hand side, you see that it's clipped into the printer frame. So I'm just going to unclip it first. So that's unclipped. Feed the, the encoder strip through here. What the strip is uh, passing through at the back of the carriage, let me show you here, is an actual chip so you want to make sure it passes through that section of the carriage at the back um, let me show you again here with the actual coder strip it must pass through this section top section of the carriage set that aside <coughs> on the right hand side of the printer you will see that the encoder strip is connected to this spring which you're going to use a set of needle nose pliers to remove. Now, in order to remove this, it's going to be a little bit uh, tricky. I'm going to, going to grab it with the needle nose pliers and then pivot it down. So I'm going to grab the pot, top part, which is this part right here. the The right hand side of this clip is 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 um, inserted into the metal part of the uh, frame of the printer. Left hand side of this is connected to the actual encoder strip. So the way I'm gonna remove it is I'm gonna grab the top part here and pull to unclip it from part of the printer frame. So I'm gonna do that right now. And you see, when I pull on it, auto automatically you can then pivot it to the right. That's exactly what I'm gonna do here. <coughs> and once I do that, I grab it with my finger See how I pivoted to the right? Uh, the right hand side clip, which 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 I'll show you here, is still connected. So if I pivot it to the right and push this clip down a bit, I'll be able to unclip it, not only the encoder strip part, but that little spring part on the right hand side. So I'm just gonna do that. And see I grabbed it there and I pivoted it down. So I just can clip the encoder strip and the whole thing was um, removed here. So let's go ahead and actually seat it back in. So I'm going to do the uh, the opposite here. I'm going to pivot it again and make sure this this bottom part, the bottom part of this goes in first. Uh, uh, and of course reinsert the encoder strip and then remember with your finger, I'll hold it with your finger and I'm going to push it into the top part clip as well. And there you go. So it's clipped back in place. If I pull in the strip, you see that everything's held in place. Uh, feed it through the back of the carriage. To get a better angle, I go from the right hand side. I move the, the printer the, the printhead all the way to the right and then and then from the right hand side I'm looking to see if I can get it through that part at the top which I just did. So, moving the printer head over, don't forget, clip it back in place. And uh, that's how you reinstall the encoder strip.